All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to a let's look at Techno Kitten Adventure. Um, I hope you brought some gravel with you because you're gonna throw up and have seizures and all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> uh, looking at the menu quickly. Music off. On. Okay. It's techno. Sound effects. Pretty much cats. Vibration. Um, quickly looking, you can see everything. It's spelled kind of funky, you know, with that internet kitten nerd. Whatever. So we got different levels. Dream pack. Meat pack. Lava pack. Cloud pack. Five different levels, I guess. Let's just jump in. Uh, different kitties, kitties, jetpack kitty, barf, I'm gonna go with barf, um, so yeah, I'm kinda just jumping in this, I'm eager to get this over with, cause I'm pretty sure I'm actually gonna have a seizure, uh, <laughs> getting kinda dizzy looking at all those, all this stuff. What is this game? Uh, this is a game that you can get for various platforms, uh, I'm playing it on Xbox, so you can get it on the Xbox Marketplace. Uh, you can get it on your iPhone, you can get it on your Android, your Windows phone, and you can even play it on Facebook, I believe. Uh, um, so, it's it's out there. You, you can definitely play it. Um, <laughs> it's hard to consider myself a man, or look myself in, in the eye, in the mirror, or, you know, it's kitties. If, Thematically, or you know, the the core mechanics of the game, it's actually similar to a game I recently just did a, a let's look at, uh, which is called Blot, and that is based on that whole helicopter helicoptergame.net. Go check that out if uh, if you haven't. But in here, we're just pressing A on the Xbox controller. A makes you go higher if you let it go, you, you sink down a bit. Um, I'm frantically trying to play this and communicate at the same time and not just have liquids oozing out of my body as I lose all control of my muscles. I have to change the level. Just, wow. Ooh. We've got some explosions. I'm digging the music and uh, all the art in the background. I'm, I'm trying to wonder who this game, like what demographic are they going after with a game like this? The mechanics, there's nothing original. Er, original? That's not a word. There's nothing origin, original about it. Um, aesthetically, it's... I don't know what it's trying to do. Obviously, it's trying to create a distraction and be a little funky and cool. It does that well, I will admit. You got these guys humping the air, you got some weird yo-yo, some guns, Mr. Skull hair guy there. Um, and it's got techno music. Techno music was never my thing. I don't know, I grew up on classic rock and alternative and just like I got into metal, I, this indie alternative, bluegrass, like anything pretty much if it's good but like never really got into techno the closest would be electronic which is or a house I, or, no I was never into house music but like and I was never really into electronic maybe Apex Twin is probably like my favorite of, of that genre I think he's pretty uh, critically acclaimed too but uh, I don't really know anything about techno is this good techno are you guys feeling it? I'll admit, when the music, each song, they kind of climax in the level and bring you extra distractions, that's that, that gets me going a little bit. But uh, let's change. I'm going to change. Mm, no, I want to change the level. Oh, meat pack. Okay, now, oh, no, we have different kittens. Uh, we're going to go with steak kitten. It's a floating steak. How cute float right into my mouth please I like this level the best so far because it's making me hungry oh look at that sausage big turds and look at up top we've got the, the lyrics let's kiss the star I can't sorry I can't 
sing and play at the same time. I apologize, you're just gonna have to do without my beautiful voice singing. Let it pour. These lyrics, though, are very inspired. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could tell my, my brothers about this game or the kind of music it's subjecting me to. Uh, climax. Oh, God. I have to focus. This can... It's flipping. Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's actually... Okay, I think I got the hang of it. I can do this. Um, yeah, like I was saying, my brothers probably make fun of me. I grew up on uh, music side. I grew up playing games, too, like, that were not based around floating steak kitties and mounds of ham in the background. You know, Ninja Gaiden, Curse of Monkey Island, you know, some pretty classic stuff. I'm not trying to be all high and mighty or anything, it's just like, I'm still trying to figure out what's the demographic here. Like, help me. Is there... I know people like kittens and stuff like that, and it's big on the internet. You know, like, oh, look at my kitty, and they even have... There's a spelling and pronunciation. It's just... How do you fall into that lifestyle? I don't know, but... Whatever. Um... I've got bacon kitten going on now. I kissed a star. There's flying bacon in the background too, I didn't notice that. You got some drumsticks. This game, difficulty wise, it's not difficult at all in terms of helicopter games. Usually you have to float through, you know, two inch gaps or whatever. Here, there's lots of room. The challenge comes in uh, just actually being able to keep focused on your little bacon kitten or whichever kitten, Mick kitten it is. And a lot of stuff going on the screen that doesn't hurt you if you, I mean, it doesn't touch you. But it just blinds you. Uh, new level. Change kitty. Nope. We've just got back kitty. Looks, I can't really tell what those other kitties are. New song. Different song for every level. And it's looking like, uh... You know, the, just the visuals on the screen go with the the beat of the song, the BPM. The more BPMs, the more distractions they throw at us. So that's kind of clever, I suppose, because when you restart a level, it, it doesn't restart the song. So it means the distractions come at different points of the level. But that doesn't actually have an impact on how well you do, because literally the bass level... Just a little tunnel with these these uh, floating star symbols. They don't get any more frequent or larger or whatever. I'm just an idiot. Oh, I can hear... I wish you could feel my hands right now. They're going crazy with the vibration on this controller. Which is actually both... Uh, it feels good because uh, I have the controller just you know, settled in my crotchular region, but it's also distracting. Another distraction, of course, seems to be the point of this game. Like, I don't know what else there is to say about this game. It's, um, it's different. I have never, ever played anything like it. <laughs> but I'm going to be thorough. And there's one more, one more map. This is the cloud pack. This is nice and bright. It feels optimistic. Look, we got hearts. The sun is shining. And what, what's she singing? I, I don't even know. Um, I have to pause it for one second. Um, I forgot to change the kitty. There we go. Baby kitty. This, this is like your plain Jane kind of cute little baby angel kitty. Like, that's heavenly, right? You got angels in the background with trumpets. You got Cupid and his arrow. We got some pterodactyls. Blimps. Alien ships. 
pretty much everything I love, I guess. Well, I don't really love angels. I'm not a religious person. I don't know if you knew that. You know, religion is within. I think... You know, there are good things and bad things with organized religion. I don't want to start a huge war or anything like that. I just think both good things and bad things have come of it. Can we live without religion? I, I do think, because to me, religion or spirituality or whatever that stuff is, whatever you want to call it, it's within, you know? Really, at the end of the day, it's just like saying, like, hey, let's be decent people, right? It's like, love thy neighbor kind of stuff. It's, you know, be considerate. Be nice. Uh, just don't be an asswad. As Bill and Ted said, be excellent to each other. And that's what I think religion is all about. It's just being excellent to each other. Um, so there's your lesson. Lesson of the day or, or rant or preaching of the day from, from Michael as I die. This little rainbow colored zombie hand is freaking me out though. There, there he is again. Or she, I don't know. Does that look like a male hand or female? You tell me, I'm trying not to die right now. These freaking rainbow triangles are... Like, not physically gouging my eyes out, but I'm actually starting to get dizzy. I got a sweet new kitty, though. Um, anyways, I think uh, I'm pretty much gonna call it quits on this. Uh, I don't... I honestly can't recommend it. And also, I have to point out though, 8-Bit um, Burrito was the one who told me to play this game, so you can point all your hate at him. Uh, and I think that was after watching my Let's Look at Blot, just because it's a similar kind of game, game mechanics. But um, if you are still alive and not just uncontrollably shaking on the ground after watching this video, then maybe you want to check it out. It's pretty cheap, and a lot of people seem to like it, but... Um, it's not up my alley, but I'm not I'm not gonna rate it or anything. Basically what you see is what you get with this game. Maybe you'll like it and you'll play it forever and ever. I'm sure it'd be good on LSD though. Or some other drugs, acid or, or meth or whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna call it quits guys, so I will check you out in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>